Hello, today I'm going to show you how to repeat any shape along any path. Here I have some lines, a heart and rectangle shape without any fill and a letter G. These are the shapes that I will be using to repeat along these paths. My first example is a curved line and a rose shape. With the rose selected, click on it, hold and drag to make a copy. Now select both shapes, then go to Object, Blend, Blend Options and choose Specified Steps. Type the number of how many extra copies you would like to add between the two existing roses and then click OK. Now go to Object one more time, select Blend and choose Make. Memorizing the keyboard shortcut for this operation will save you lots of time. Next select both the curved line and the copied roses. Go to Object, Blend and choose Replace Spine. And you are done. However, you will notice there are some spacing issues. To correct it, first switch to the Direct Selection tool, select the path and then press the plus key on your keyboard to switch to the Add Anchor Point tool or select it from the toolbar panel. Now click on the path wherever there is a too big or too small gap to even out the spaces. If you would like to align your shapes to a path to get this look, first double click on the Blend tool to open the dialog window, check the preview box and then choose Align to Path option. My second example is a closed path that has only a stroke and no fill. I'm going to use a little heart shape to repeat along this path. So like before, make an extra copy, select both shapes. Now go to Object, Blend, choose Blend Options and change the specified steps to 20. Now press the Ctrl, Alt and B keys on your keyboard to apply the blend. Select the big heart and all the small shapes. Go to Object, Blend and Replace Spine. Notice that the blend filled only three quarter of the heart. We can change it. To do that, press the letter C for the scissors tool or select it from the toolbar panel and click on one of the anchor points. If you are not satisfied with the results, you could go back to the blending dialog box and increase or decrease the number of copies. You could try the first method with adding more anchor points or you could select the path, go to Object, Expand, ungroup everything and delete or move the unwanted shapes. However, after using this method, you won't be able to go back and adjust the path. Our next example is very similar to the last one. First copy a shape that you would like to repeat along this path, select both shapes, and using the keyboard shortcut, apply the same blend of 20 copies. Then select the rectangle and the little shapes, go to Object, Blend and Replace Spine. Now using the scissors tool, make a cut. Then go to the Blend tool and adjust the specified steps number. My next example is a letter. Before you can repeat a shape along a letter, first you need to convert it into a path. To do that, first select the letter, then right click with your mouse and choose Create Outlines. Swap the fill and the stroke and using the scissors tool, make a few cuts and delete the unwanted paths. Next, select a shape that you want to repeat along this path make a copy, select both shapes and pressing down the Ctrl, Alt and B keys on your keyboard apply the same blend. Before we can move to the next step, first we need to release the compound path on the letter G. Select the letter, then go to Object, Compound Path and choose Release. Now select both the shapes and the letter, 
and like before go to Object, Blend and Replace Spine. And you could leave it as it is or use the same method like we did before. First select the letter, go to Object, Expand Appearance, let's zoom in, go to Object again and choose Expand. And now you can adjust individual shapes. Our final example is a straight line that we will convert into a zigzag line. First select the line, go to Effect, Distort and Transform and choose Zigzag. Check the preview box and let's make some adjustments. Set the ridges per segment to 20, the size to 40, then go to Object and choose Expand Appearance. Next select a shape that you would like to repeat along this path, make a copy, select both shapes and using the keyboard shortcut apply the same blend. Select both the shapes and the zigzag line, go to Object, Blend and Replace Spine. If you would like to add more copies to this path you can still do it. To get to the Blend Options dialog box, you could either press the letter W on your keyboard and then hit Enter or double click on the Blend tool. Now check the preview box, highlight the number and using the up or down arrow keys on your keyboard adjust the amount of shapes. If you wish, you could adjust the orientation as well. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.